Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, today's video is the review of the new Lineant deck printer. This is actually their large printer that they just put out and I am super excited to get this thing in my possession and start printing some stuff for you and letting you see the quality of this printer. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to go ahead and get into the review right now. All right, everybody, you are in my living room. So I had this humongous package delivered today. So this is the Lineant deck printer. This thing is massive. It's about the size of a mini fridge here. So I'm going to have to unbox this thing right here. And Okay, everyone, this is the printer and it's totally unboxed and out of all of the styrofoam here. And I am going to get it to the room that I'm going to be printing it in because this thing is a monster. It's super heavy. And then once I get it in there, we'll go over all of the parts that come with it. All right, everybody. So I finally got it up here. This thing is a monster. So forgive me for the background noise. I do have a printer that's running. That's how it is around here. My printers are always going. I'm always printing something. So let's look at some of the features on this printer. I am super excited for this thing. Uh, if it is anything like my base printer that I've been using for quite some time, I am definitely going to get some really good prints out of this. So first things first, which I am impressed with already from the get-go, and I'm not just saying this, is the build plate on this thing is humongous. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, it is awesome. So one thing I like is the fact that they do have these handles on here. So when you're pulling this heavy thing out, you're not just grabbing this. You actually have something to grab a hold of when pulling it out. So one other thing about this printer too is uh, it does come pre-leveled for you. So you do not have to level this thing. Uh, that's not to say that you're never going to have to level it. And if something happens in transportation to you and shipping where it offsets it or whatever like that, then you can always re-level it if you need to. But I think that's a pretty nice touch. This thing should just unpack right away out of the box and get to printing right away. So, of course, you got your little goodie bag, I like to call it. Uh, when you get open up your printer, it has all your accessories inside of it. Uh, and it's pretty similar to, it looks like it's pretty similar to what the base had. Uh, and if you are unfamiliar with that printer, check out the video here in this corner uh, after you get to them watching this one, of course. So first things first, we've got your flash drive. Again, we have the uh, cutter knife. I don't know why we have that, but we got one. And of course, you got your alcohol pads and gloves. And I'm not sure about the paintbrush, but again, this, the base had that too. So, but hey, whatever. <laughs> get a collapsible funnel. That's always good for when you have to re-pour resin back in the bottle. Strainers, those are always handy. Some surgical masks. You may need that if you don't like the smell of resin. Aha, now this is new. You get some grease right here for the linear rails. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that in a minute. And these right here are your levelers. Uh, there's total instructions on the USB drive that tells you how to re-level this if you need to do that. And of course, you got your good old scraper and an even bigger scraper and FEP you got you an extra FEP sheet right here very very cool so a couple of features right off the bat up here is it does have this color LCD screen right here let's turn this thing on now one thing it does have is the it has an internal power source what that means is you don't have the extra a power block on the back of this thing. It's just one power cord that hooks directly up to it. So you've got, you know, it's a nice color LCD screen, just like the base. It does have a clean feature for the VAT, uh, and it's got pretty much just the usual stuff. Uh, and what we're going to do now is I want to go ahead and lift this build plate here. So now we're going to lift that. And you hear how quiet that thing is? So the, another good thing is just like the base, this thing is running right now and you do not hear it at all. It's got internal fans on the bottom and in the back and it is super, super quiet, you guys. I mean, it's unbelievable. 
But the big thing here on this printer is the dual motors right here running the linear rails. Imagine that's probably a lot of the weight is because of the internal motors on this thing. But this really helps with a lot of knotting and line shifting and stuff that you have uh, with your normal printers just from you know, the build plate being in the front and having one linear rail on the back. So that's really neat. That's a huge feature of this one. And I can tell you on the base that that was a big factor in the quality of the prints that I got out of it. And you've seen some of the prints I've got off of it. So the way the vat just fits in here is just like the base. This pulls out and I'm glad they listened to this because now we have handles on each side to pull this out. And this vat, look at the size of this thing, oh my God. And this thing, I'm glad that they made it a one piece uh, metal structure here. And uh, yeah, so this is very, very handy. Very easy to pull out and empty your resin. So the one thing that it doesn't have that I do wish it would have was the feet. So you can actually set this on a flat surface without anything touching the FEP. So what I recommend doing is, is like get you some type of thing where you can like set it uh, diagonal ways or whatever like that and prop it up that way your FEP doesn't touch uh, anything below. So the vat is pretty simple to put in. It actually has these markers right here which you actually will lock into place on the back lip of the, uh, of the printer. So it also has the min max levels here as well. A thousand grams minimal, 1800 grams of resin for the max. That's a lot. All right, so now we're gonna fill this up with resin. We're gonna go ahead and pour a whole thousand grams in here. And we're gonna go for the gusto and do a print and see what comes out. And it's done. Awesome. So the first print on this thing printed out just fine. It took a whopping 21 hours and 17 minutes and it is done. But this is a gigantic print here, guys. Let's take it out and uh, get a closer look at it. All right. So we got the camera set up here. Let's take this off. And the front comes off just like the back comes off. And so, all right. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> now this was the very first print I did not do a test print or anything like that on here I just went straight for the jugular so let's go ahead and get this off unscrew that and look at this this just you just grab this and slide it out here all right so let's let that drip there for a second and here we go so this is the thing base in one freaking piece here look how look i don't know if you guys can see that look at the detail on this thing so everything come out crisp clean and sharp um and i mean i did not have any issues with the flat piece here everything looks like it printed pretty good so i'm going to get this off of the build plate and uh, we're gonna take remove the supports and take a look and see what kind of quality we got here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing off of here. And yeah, these supports are popping right off. This is huge, guys. All right. All right, so now let's take the uh, supports off. That was probably the, the strongest one on there. So there we go. So we got, this is the statue base and it's all in one piece. And to show you the comparison with the bust, that is the base for the bust. So there's a huge size difference, but 
I am looking at, and this is on the Photon Mono X here, and this compared to this one, there's just so much crispness, sharpness on this one compared to this one, and um, that is amazing. All right, so let's look at the print a little up close. You can see all of those details in there. Um, even the little purposely swirl mark within the four. Uh, very, very nice. I'm really impressed with the detail uh, from this printer. This is a really nice piece. Uh, the lines are crisp and sharp. Uh, the edges are nice and sharp. Uh, I don't see uh, any swirl marks. Really? No swirl marks. I don't see... Well, maybe just a couple, but nothing really noticeable. I mean, this is a gorgeous print here, guys. I mean, this is really, really nice. Right. Thing is in the house. So I finished up the base and I also got the bust. So this does feature a 277 by 156 by 350 millimeter build volume. And if you go to the website right now and order one of these and put in the promo code, the Creative Collector 100, you're going to get a hundred bucks off of this and you're going to get a hundred bucks off of the base 8K printer if you buy one of those. Plus, they're going to give you an extra FEP uh, film and then you're also going to get a screen protector along with that. Just so right now, the only way that you can get this printer is through their website uh, and I'll have a link below in the description and I think they're getting ready to put these on Amazon if I'm not mistaken. And if this is too much machine for you, they also have the Linance base like the one that I had in the older video in an 8K version as well. And I think that one's gonna be on Amazon very, very soon. So I'm real excited to uh, be printing a lot more bigger stuff on this printer. Everybody knows who watches my videos know I like to print them big. So um, very good detail on the first print, but hey, that's just the start. So I'm gonna get back to printing more stuff on here and uh, I'm going to follow up with a video later on and let you know a little bit more uh, on this printer. Um, this is still kind of a work in progress here, but I can tell you one thing. I'm super impressed right now. Uh, I've been using their products for quite some time and great customer service, great well-built well product. And uh, I mean, the construction of this thing is superb, really good aluminum structure. Um, the FEPs are easy to change out. I mean, you can't ask for a better overall printer uh, that gets the job done. So uh, the dual Z axis on here uh, makes a huge difference. Uh, I don't have any type of swirl marks, line shifting or anything, as you can see off that print we just did. And I printed that thing at a goofy kind of angle uh, just to challenge uh, the printer and see if we're going to get all that swirling and stuff in there and I do not have that in there so that is a huge plus so all right I'm going to get back to doing some printing on this thing because I am ready to go and uh, you know the drill like and subscribe to the channel don't forget leave us a comment below let me know what you think of this right here and uh, stay safe out there guys have fun print print paint repeat and until the next video We'll see ya. Bet you would have wished you watched to the end of the video because now I have an update. This is the War Machine War Tank here designed by Wicked Studios. This was all printed on the Linant deck. This thing is massive. It is highly detailed. Uh, and I have to say I did not have one single fail print on this printer with this with this figure here this is a raw print so this means that uh, there's been nothing done to it it's not been primered what you see is what you get so this war machine here went along with it uh, again another highly detailed model i actually printed this in one whole piece uh, aside from the base the base was separate um, but this was all printed in one piece that's the build plate size that you get on this thing yeah, so this thing is a beast. Let's take a closer look at it.
Okay. Now you can leave. Go print something. Go on, get out of here. <laughs>